We heard the click again last night, just like every night. It's something in the wall. The wall I lay against is always cold. My elbow was pressed against it last night until I got too nervous about what might reach out and scrape me. It was a silly thought, but I had to move my elbow away from it anyway. I wake up after he is asleep and listen. I know there are mice and roaches and winds. I know there is something else. Something scraping. I remember the story he told me about when the mouse died in the wall and there was nothing to do but let it rot away. I have to move my head away from the wall when I think about that. I start to think I smell death if I think about it too much. I start to hear those little bones rattle in the breeze and scrape the plaster. My head is right there against it and it makes me shiver. Anything could break through these walls at any moment. An unspeakable scraping creature. Something that watches us through the cracks day and night, tracking our movements, waiting, waiting, and biding its time. The thing that sits beyond the faucet and the pipes when I get in the bathtub. I hope it knows I know it's there. I know it watches me, so I keep my razor close and never take my eyes off the wall. Clicking and scraping while the water runs. It sits still when I turn the water off. It's not a stupid creature, but neither am I. I keep to the middle when walking down the hall. I listen to the music it makes with the little remains. I try to keep a balance, an order. I don't kill the mice. Poor little bastards. They keep it busy. They keep it busy. last night, right after the lights were out. There it is again, I said. It's just something in the wall, he told me. And that much is true. I'll keep watch for the both of us.